Good morning, campus. Um, welcome to next video. It's a bit different. I <laughs> started it from bed and probably gonna end it in bed. I'm not gonna lie. Um, obviously, last week I finally uploaded how much I spent for my South Korean trip. So if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. And that was kind of it. So I kind of want to give you update because obviously the video before my soul cost a uh, soul trip cost was that i'm like kind of struggling and kind of getting better because i distracted myself with the room makeover etc so let's kind of summarize right so the week after i posted my uh makeover video which not many people seen actually so again if you haven't seen it go watch it right um i kind of cleared my head and you know felt quite all right actually i went to um where did i go did i go somewhere i don't know no i didn't i actually stayed in whole weekend plus another two days which is not the best because obviously i should be going out getting my walks you know clear my head etc however that week i i wasn't depressed at all which was nice so that was good but it was quite stressful at work so i think that's why like once i finished work i was like i just want to chill i think i binge watch like um to K dramas, I can't remember the name because I always like find like Netflix something suggests for me, and I watch it. And so that was that. Um, how was it called? Oh, the Good Bad Mother or the Bad Good Mother. Really good. Fourteen episodes. I really enjoyed it. It's dark. It's quirky. It's really funny and it's kind of sad as well i cried a lot so i think this might be why i wasn't depressed because i was watching that and i just naturally cried because of the scenes and the storyline and it wasn't really about my life i guess i don't know um what else then the following week we we i'm saying we but my sister and i we went to theater we watched uh we will rock you musical storyline bit mm, but the songs the dancing it was really good obviously it was everything kind of about queen so kind of like a ode to freddie mercury and queen in general so it was really nice i enjoyed that so that was monday <laughs> Then on Tuesday, it was office day, so after work, I went to Asian shop to stock up a few bits and bobs. So I'm going to show you what I got, because I recorded it, surprisingly. So I ran out of a few bits, so I went to Asian store, got uh, some noodles and chili oil and other bits I'm going to show you. And also I went to this Korean skincare shop and i got a few bits there as well so this is the whole shop i'm gonna start with the skincare so obviously my favorite uh beauty of josan so i got this glow serum with propolis and niacinamide that should help with hyperpigmentation and i do have a lot i have lots of acne scars so that should help with that and then i think on a saturday we going out and having a picnic with my sister, so, and it should be like 29 degrees, so I got myself a nice uh, sheet mask, which I'm going to use after, and then I got this sample of vegan sunscreen, so I'm going to try that one, and then this is kind of my usual, so my favorite, Ramyun, which is this brand, then I got kimchi, uh, because kimchi is life, then recently I really again fall in love with the rice cakes, so got this uh, type of rice cakes for my soup and also for tteokbokki, then my all-time favorite uh, black beans in chili oil, running out of goji junk, 
so got a new uh, top and then this general peach soju for weekend and then wednesday i work from home which was normal it was standard for me thursday i had kind of like a field trip so we went to the other office which is outside of london for like all hands meeting company meeting so that was thursday i was absolutely knackered i got home i literally ate my dinner and i fell asleep straight away i was exhausted Friday was normal working, normal working day from home and I wanted to sort my nails but because I have, what I have, I've got my thoughts, uh, because my procedure which was supposed to have beginning of August actually changed to beginning of July, which I'm very thankful because it's been now seven months since I was supposed to have it. So a long time. And hopefully when I get that done, my overall kind of health, like physical health and also mental health going to rapidly improve, hopefully, because I think that's the thing that stressed me the most and that I've been thinking a lot. I'm going to tell you more about it once it's done because I think it's quite important, especially for girls and women, to get their checks and avoid stuff like that. So I'm going to do a separate video about that. And so, yes, yeah, so I was planning to do my nails on Friday night, but then because of the procedure, I was like, well, if I'm going to do them on Friday, then I need to do them literally the Friday uh, after surgery. But most likely I'm going to feel very sorry for myself. I just need to relax and, you know, recover properly so i'm gonna do them probably next friday so that's that and then yesterday yesterday me and my sister or my sister my sister and i whatever i know we went for bottomless brunch we started at 3 30 and uh, went to ping pong so i got some dumplings and loads and loads of drinks because they give you like cocktails in jugs so that was fun how many did we have i think we have like five jugs and then we kind of been popping from bars to bars so i know we then got to like bar soho got a cocktail there beer at one got, got a cocktail there we went to tucan got the beer and then got food again food so we got this lovely ramen which i'm gonna show you as well don't know the place because we really should just walk in um towards uh chinatown and we just we just saw that spot and it was really nice it was busy and obviously me and my soups me and my ramen my sister love asians as well like japanese cuisine so it was perfect so it kind of hit the spot it was hot you know it kind of soaked the alcohol and then we continue drinking more so as per usual we ended up in our favorite o'neill's and then we ended up getting mccandies and i think i was home about midnight or something like that but you know i think it was kind of solid uh day drinking session so that was quite nice um I have a few clips as well, so I'm gonna just pop them here. We'll see if they are appropriate or not. I try to, I try to vlog, but you know, it is what it is. Of course, you didn't because you're silly cows. <laughs> Fuck off, all right. Come on. Mm, clever girl. Let's go. <laughs> And um, today was a Sunday. Surprisingly, I feel really fresh. So even though I got home hammered, I took off my makeup. I did my skincare. So I'm very proud of that. 
because I'm really trying to now step up my skincare game and really be on top on it. And now obviously it's Sunday. I need to go to Aldi. I need to do my weekly shop, which maybe I can share with you what I'm always getting. Um, we'll see how I feel. So here's my weekly shop. It came about like twenty-seven pounds. So I have my apples, green onions. Um, these ones I usually have if I go to gym, and then these ones are my after lunch sweet treat. Chia seeds for chia pudding, which I have with bananas. This tea, usually not buying it, but I was like, hmm, sounds nice. German salami, which I have as a snack with the two, like, bread rolls or whatever you call those. Some avocados, some spinach. Two packs of chicken mince. I've got some tuna. Get some soy milk uh, for the chia pudding. 12 eggs, some shredded cheese, light mayo because I need to put my own opposite left thing and then cleaning wipes. I forgot rice, but luckily I have some. So essentially my breakfast is usually chia pudding. Then I have the minced chicken with rice and peas, which I have in the freezer. Um, and then for breakfast as well, I will do omelettes. Hence I got the cheese and spinach. And then dinner is tuna with rice and with avocado, with the seaweed. Again, I have seaweed, so that's fine. And, you know, this is a cleaning bit and this is just a treat for today. So, it's literally going to last me a whole week. And, yeah, as I said, £27 in Aldi. One of the cheapest shops I had in a long time. And if I had the rice, it would be another pound. So, it would be 28 which I think it's... Pretty decent with the variety. So as you saw, I went to Aldi, did my weekly shop. I showed you everything I got. Um, and now I'm just tired. It's like 30 degrees. My room is like a sauna. Outside is even worse. So I literally just turned my fan off for now. But it's crazy. And I think my hangover is just properly kicking in now. So I think I'm going to have a cheeky nap. And then I will edit this uh, vlog, do my meal prep for a week. I'm gonna cook my chicken and rice and have dinner basically. So yeah, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or give it a like. Um, if you're new here, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Ooh, ooh, ooh.